once we're back on normal power up we are going to go to setup and control our groups and here we're going to modify or add a group and then you can go through and it will be set up as R1, S2, R2, S2, R1, S3 and so forth. Um, there also will be a group combination for just the positioner that is S1, S2 and S3 and that will be used to control sweeping from side A to side B to where we have A to robot or B to robot. We do this so that you can have wide tooling and we can sweep the positioner like a Ferris wheel, keeping the tooling flat so that it does not hit the floor. And once those group combinations are set up, then we can go in and start creating jobs. Now we're going to go back out to the job tab and go down and create new job. And here we're going to give it a name and I'm going to do R1 home. And then the control group or group set will be R1 in this case. And we will repeat the same thing and teach the point for R2 home. And the other thing I'm going to show setting up here will be A to robot or B to robot. And that group set is going to be S1, S2, S3 as we will be moving all three axes of the positioner. In this first case, I am doing uh, B to robot since that station was already over there. And I will be tweaking and modifying the position for a robot start position on side B. So when it sweeps in, um, it could be ready to start welding. Side A, I will have tipped down a little bit so it'll be more um, user friendly for loading. So you'll tilt that forward on a larger frame. It needs to be tipped forward so a uh, person could uh, load the parts easier. So you can do that, I'm just saying because they don't have to be in the flat position. They could be in a load or unload position on the operator side and a ready to start weld or cut or whatever the process is on the robot side. Next we'll be repeating the same thing but we're going to be running A to robot and again it's S1, S2, S3 group set. Now you can jog these if you look at the pendant down under the robot icon right there you'll see EX um, button and you can just toggle through that and up at the top of the pendant 
you'll see where it has a robot symbol and to the left of that symbol it will show the axes in which you're controlling. Right now I have three active so the third axis or station B is what is being controlled. And that is just for jogging purposes. Right now I'm going to select the other side, robot, B to robot. I'm going to run that job and see how it sweeps. And if you notice how the minor axes or station A and station B will rotate with S1 keeping the part in the flat or sweeping up to its start or unload position. And we'll check by running A to robot and run it back. And it looks like everything is operational and running as it should. And that is how you build an Arc World 6200.